Hello there, this is the second video in the basic setup of, of the Edge Router X series. Um, if you haven't watched the first video, this might not make a lot of sense. Um, but in, in this video, we've already done the initial setup of our router, and now we're going to look at cu customizing the configuration <clears throat> um, a little bit with uh, from what was given to us. So at the end of the last video, we had run uh, the wizard and we had created um, two networks um, so we've got a 192.168.4.1 network on ETH1 and we have a 192.168.3.1 network attached by this switch um, on ETH2, ETH3, ETH4. Now in my case I don't want this I want ETH1 to be its own network and I want ETH2 to be its own network and I want ETH3 and 4 to be nothing at all so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the configuration of the switch and I'm going to, um, primarily I really just want to r remove ETH2, but I'm going to r remove ETH2 and 3. Uh, I'm then going to set the IP address to no address and save that. You see this save up icon up there. Um, once that comes back, it's ticked. I'm then going to edit the uh, ETH2 address and I'm going to give this a manually defined IP address and it's going to be 192.168.3.1 forward slash 24. Um, save that. That now looks much more like what I'm after. While I'm here I'm just going to um, rename these networks just to make it a little more um, obvious as to what we're dealing with in the descriptions. Now if you were and if, you, uh, if you're if you looking at these videos through the blog post, then you'll know that I'm trying to create a main network and basically a, a VPN network. So I'm going to uh, give those appropriate names. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and uh, unplug my computer from ETH1, and I'm going to plug myself into ETH2 just to see if I get that... Um, three dot whatever IP address. So I've made that change now. I've plugged it in. So if I just uh, do IP config, I might have to do a, a release and a renew, but I'm going to tr try not to. This should just pick up. It can take a few minutes. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in here and disable the adapter and then just enable it again. You can see there's no IP address yet. Okay, so that took a couple of minutes, um, but as you can see now, I have a dot three dot thirty eight IP address. So if I go to one oh two one six eight dot three dot thirty eight sorry dot three dot one um we are now connecting to the router um from that different network. So something I just want to point out here as well if I go to the uh, if I go to four dot one if I go to uh, 192.168.4.1, bearing in mind I am currently on the 3.1, well, I'm on the .3 subnet, so my IP address currently is 3.38, but if I go to 4.1, you'll see that I can still access the router. Um, now, this is by design. The Edge Router X will route between the separate LANs, um, um, automatically, and that's something that I'm going to cover in a, a further video.